is there any president that you're not saddened about? Any president at all? Is I think I actually. I think I think that Ronald Reagan did the best. He created 20 million new jobs, the longest period of peacetime economic growth in history. I think that George W. Bush did a, a lot of great things to combat radical Islam. Don't you think it's odd this president can't say radical Islamic terrorists? Isn't that odd to you? No. No, no it's that's not. not. Jesse Peterson, let's bring you in here. Well, first I want to say that it is um, on uh, inappropriate for Barack Obama to invite Black Lives Matter and these radical groups like Al Sharpton and other to our White House. The Reverend said it was Barack Obama's house. It's not his house. It's our house. And for the last, uh, since the early 1990s, we have been fighting uh, to do something about illegal aliens coming into our country. They have devastated the black communities around the country, and especially in California, it is now impossible to help black Americans find jobs. The men find day work at uh, construction sites and other day labor because the illegal aliens are being hired every day. And the, the crime and the violence that is now in the black community These illegal alien gangs are coming in and they are bringing drugs, they are bringing crimes, and they are they are sponsored by the cartels, and and so they are overtaking even the the Crips and the Bloods in the inner cities around here. A whole lot of black folks have had to move out of South Central LA back to the South, looking for jobs and looking for safety, and we uh, since the early 1990s have not been able to get our government to put a wall around the borders to stop these illegal aliens coming in. And we've been voting them in. We've been begging them to do something about it. We shouldn't have to beg them since they work for us. We don't work for them, Sean. And it's for this reason that I, Jesse Lee Peterson, not my organization, is endorsing Donald Trump for president. Uh, uh, Donald Trump, I believe, will put a wall around the borders. I believe that he will bring jobs back to the country. And I also believe that he will protect us from the foreign and domestic terrorists uh, and, or enemies in our country. And w- if you've noticed, no other, uh, for the last, since Ronald Reagan, no one else has done that. They have not put a wall around the borders. They have not protected the country and especially black Americans. And if you notice, even with these far left agitating uh, uh, radical liberals that we'll see now protesting Donald Trump, they're not going after Cruz. They're not going after Kasich. They're going after Donald Trump because they too believe that he will finally restore America. And I'm so happy about this because if we don't get hold of our country, it's going to be over. We won't have a chance to do anything about it. And these radicals, Sean, have been able to run wild over the last for the last eight years because Barack Obama has created an environment for them to do it. He has not stopped them. To invite them to the White House is evil. What would have happened had President Bush invited uh, the KKK or the skinheads to the White House and, 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 and celebrated with them? America would be up in arms about it. But people like Black Lives Matter can get away with this, and they are supported by the president and the liberal media. It's time out for that. Another thing I really appreciate about Donald Trump is that he is destroying political correctness. Finally, the American people are going to be able to speak up and take action without worrying about losing their jobs, losing their careers, or being deemed as racist and, and punish in our great nation. This is America. This is the country that we supposed to be free in. Opportunities should be around. And they're not there. And these four left liberals that you see carry the Mexican flags, they don't care. They are being supported financially by people like George Soros and others. And they've been brainwashed by the public educational system that America is a terrible place. They have no respect for the law of this great nation. We can't tolerate this anymore. And I'm glad to see Donald Trump doing this because he is showing that not only does he care about America, 
He cares about black Americans. He wants them to have the uh, same opportunities as anyone else. And that's why he want to shut the borders down. That's why he want to bring the jobs back. The for uh, the uh, establishment of the Republican Party and the Democratic Party's party, they don't care about black Americans because they have done nothing but lie to us. They have given us amnesty. They have told us and promised us that they will shut the borders down. They have lied to us. We don't want any more lies. I want Donald Trump. The black Americans want Donald Trump. And there are Hispanics in this great nation who want Donald Trump because nobody else is going to do it. Yeah. Let me give a chance. Reverend, Reverend, why don't you speak out? You're a man of the cloth, aren't you? You believe in Jesus and goodness. Why don't you speak out like Reverend Peterson and just and just call it as it is? that these people have no business in the White House, the president has no business associating with them, and that he's only encouraging radicalism by doing so. Well, let me, let me say a couple of things. Uh, brother you have Peter, only a minute. I do a, yeah, I appreciate your point of view, but uh, George Bush did invite the KKK to the White House. Uh, they they were did not. Win. They did not. <laughs> they stop. were his we cabinet did. members. Reverend, cut That's that total out. BS. So, who was so, Whoa, whoa. So, what member, so what member of the cabinet? Whoa, whoa. What's his name? <laughs> the only Klansman that I know that worked in Washington was Robert Byrd, who was the Senate Majority Leader for the Democrats. Well, Sean, what's I'm the concerned. person's name? What's the name? Oliver, what's, what's the, the name? Are yeah, you what's asking the name? The, the, the name, the of, name of the, the Klansman, name. yeah. Uh, well, how many, how many cabinet members did he have? You're saying every cabinet member was a, a Klansman? No, no I'm, I'm saying that every that that Bush. Well, did, give me the name. Just give me the name of the, do, one of them. If there's so many Klansmen, Bush, just name one of them. Bush didn't come close to doing what needed Reverend, to be what's done. The name of the in order to what's the name of the Klansman? Who, what Klansman issue? was in the Bush cabinet? I want to know. Oh well, let's 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 start with his vice president, Mr. Chase. What? Dick yes. Cheney was never a Klansman. What are you talking about? Well, you know, well, of course he didn't. He, he wasn't labeled as such. Reverend, Reverend, but listen, let know, me listen, Reverend. Life. I like you too much, Reverend. Let me let me save you from yourself. That never happened. That's not true. I'll stop pushing you. But there was no Klansman in the Bush cabinet. Okay, that's just ridiculous. All right, it's just not uh, true. John, you just you just you just don't get it. Just like Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump doesn't get it. Reverend Peterson. You can't make false I mean, accusations he, like that. I mean, because it's never, it's nobody's ever made that allegation, but you, it's just not true. All right, but I got to run. Eight hundred. Thank you both for being with us. Eight hundred nine four one. Sean. 